So for me, this is, this is really about recognizing context. And we're going to spend the bulk of our time on context because I think context matters. Um, and I think based on the conversation, the dialogue that we've already engaged in, we need to sort of unpack some of these things sort of individually, right? And look at various situations that are happening to our young people, that are impacting our young people, and figure out how do we process that in the context of our work, in the context of our programs, right? In the context of our organization. And I just want to continue to reinforce that it starts with us, right? We can't really engage young people until we do our work first. Um, so for me, critical youth work is about looking at context, and it's about acknowledging the idea that we exist in toxicity. And we know that's true because we just, we just spent all this time talking about it, right? So if young people's context were water and air, it would be impossible to drink, impossible to breathe. They, you know, they just wouldn't be, it, it's not something that you should be able or you should try to survive in, right? And the problem really with our current approach in youth work is that what we do is we've adapted to this toxicity. So we try to pass on processes for young people to adapt as well. Instead of saying, hey, why don't we all recognize this toxicity and then try to clean the water and clear the air? Right? What we do is say, like, here, put this mask on. You'll be all right. right? And so um, one of the examples, actually, um, my brother Steve Vassor, who does this work, always talks about um, the manatee and how at some point manatees were washing up on shores and there was this issue um, with, uh, with environmental pollution that was causing problems with the manatee, right? And so he uses this example because he says that when this was happening, no one went to the manatee and said, like, why are you washing up on the shore dying? You know, like, you just need to figure out how to pull yourself up by your bootstraps, get back in that water, and keep on swimming, right? What they said was, let's look at the context. Let's look at the water. Let's figure out what's, you know, what's polluting the water. Let's figure out how to clean the water. Let's figure out how to make this a better space so that the manatee can survive, right? The way we do our youth work is the first way that I described it, right? Is we say to the young person, fix yourself. Pull your pants up. Take that hoodie off. Learn how to tie a tie, put on a suit, be respectable. Then you'll be better. People will receive you, right? And some of that is true. I mean, we definitely need to have nuanced conversations about when and where to do these things, right? At the same time, it is wrong for us to tell young people that that is going to make them more respectable when we know that that isn't necessarily true, right? And I always use the example of President Obama who did everything white folks wanted him to do. Everything. He never, st he never stepped out of line, right? He kept his cool, his composure. He spoke the way he was supposed to speak. He went to all the schools he was supposed to go to. He joined everything. He did everything he was supposed to do. And still, right? But Tyrone better pull his pants up. You ain't going to treat President Obama right, and you think Tyrone by pulling his pants up, is going to have a different experience. The president of the United States can't be respected. But Tyrone got to pull his pants up, and that's going to fix all his problems. 